First of all let's find out what is all about AIO boot uses Grub2 as the default bootloader. Grub2 is a powerful loader developed by GNU which supports both MBR and GPT and supports booting in both legacy BIOS and UEFI. In addition, AIO boot also supports to install Grub4 DOS, RFIND, Clover, System Linux, and Enoch Chameleon. See more features of AIO boot continue watch and how do you use AIO boot. Prepare. 1. A computer running Windows XP or later. 2. Download IO boot. Take a look at description of this video. There is a link at the bottom. 3. A USB or hard drive. You can partition and format the drive before installing AIO boot. BOTMGR does not work on logical partitions, you should use primary instead. Use FAT32 format for best support. Listen first more information about AIO boot. Why is it called AIO? First off, an AIO is short for all-in-one, which in this context refers to a liquid CPU cooler. An AIO combines the parts necessary to liquid cool your CPU into a pre-packaged solution that you bolt on in about 20 minutes. Please don't subscribe this channel if you feel the video worthless for you and you don't like it, be true to yourself, but thanks for dropping by my channel.